August 8th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Ephesians chapter 6 from the New Testament. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment accompanied by a promise, namely that it may go well with you and that you will live a long time on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but raise them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your human masters with fear and trembling, in the sincerity of your heart as to Christ, not like those who do their work only when someone is watching, as people pleasers, but as slaves of Christ doing the will of God from the heart. Obey with enthusiasm as those serving the Lord and not people, because you know that each person, whether slave or free, If he does something good, this will be rewarded by the Lord. Masters, treat your slaves the same way, giving up the use of threats, because you know that both you and they have the same master in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. Finally, be strengthened in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Clothe yourselves with the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world rulers of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens. For this reason, take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand your ground on the evil day and having done everything to stand. Stand firm, therefore, by fastening the belt of truth around your waist, by putting on the breastplate of righteousness, by fitting your feet with the preparation that comes from the good news of peace. And in all of this, by taking up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with every prayer and petition, pray at all times in the Spirit, and to this end be alert, with all perseverance and request for all the saints. Pray for me also that I may be given the message when I begin to speak that I may confidently make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may be able to speak boldly as I ought to speak. Tychicus, my dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will make everything known to you so that you too may know about my circumstances, how I am doing. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know our circumstances and that he may encourage your hearts. Peace to the brothers and sisters and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all of those who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. God, I wonder if people understand how powerful and meaningful to our daily lives these verses are. Sometimes I think we read your word because it's part of our checklist for the day and we check it off and we're done, but I know we probably couldn't withstand it, but if we saw, if we were somehow able to see physically what is going on in this world with the spiritual forces of evil, um, I wonder how much more to heart we would take these, uh, especially last dozen or so verses. Thankfully, I can't see them most of the time. But you have allowed me to see bits and pieces of that world. And it's incredibly frightening, incredibly scary. And even I, having physically felt and seen that other world that exists here on Earth, even I get into this uh, taking things for granted mode and going about my daily life and completely forgetting what is actually happening in this world that it's not a struggle against flesh and blood as you put it (laughs) though god a lot of times it feels like that we have a hard enough time dealing with just flesh and blood but you're like our struggle is against the powers the world rulers of a darkness yeah so i don't think (laughs) i don't think we get what you're actually trying to say here i don't think we understand how big how important how scary this is you tell us to be suited up for battle to put on this armor every single day and it goes through quite a few different pieces of this armor to protect us in all these different ways 
including righteousness and the gospel and all of these different things, uh, our salvation, that you've asked us to put on so that we can go about this, this daily battle in our lives. Because this whole part begins with finally be strengthened in the Lord and in the strength of his power. And we usually call upon that when we're struggling with flesh and blood things. God, I pray for your will to happen in this situation against this person, against this relationship, against this situation at work. And, and we're taking on your strength and your power in these situations where you're like, yeah, that's not even where your struggle is at. Your struggle is against these dark forces that are trying everything they can do to stop what it is that I need you to do in this world. All of those things I sent you down to earth to do, glorify me, tell others about me, they are going to do everything they can to stop you. And watch, if you don't have on this armor, look how easy it is for them to get to you. Now you may not physically see them um, or even physically feel them, but they come into your life and infiltrate your life. And, and I almost kind of thank God that the end result is our struggle against flesh and blood. That's how far we've let it get before we call upon you and say, oh God, by the way, I need your strength for the situation. And you, and you say, no, you do this daily. You do this all the time. You pray all the time. You're in my word all the time. And you have this armor on you all the time. This is so important a piece of us existing here in this world that you've put us in that I don't think a lot of people connect the dots with what Isaiah says about this. Uh, Isaiah 59, 14, justice is turned back and righteousness stands far away for truth is stumbled in the public squares and uprightness cannot enter. Truth is lacking and he who departs from evil makes himself a prey. The Lord saw it and it displeased him and there was no justice. He saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no one to intercede. Then his own arm brought him salvation and his righteousness upheld him. He put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation on his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing and wrapped himself in zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, so will he repay wrath to his adversaries, repayment to his enemies. To the coastlands he will render repayment. So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. For he will come like a rushing stream which the wind of the Lord drives. And a redeemer will come to Zion. To those in Jacob who turn from transgression, declares the Lord. You yourself in Isaiah put on the same exact armor. You put on righteousness as a breast, breastplate, the helmet of salvation on your head. Um, you put on this armor to deal with those situations. And you're offering us a piece of you in walking in our daily life against these evil forces. A lot of times when we talk about evil forces, people get the wrong idea and they start thinking about odd things, ghosts and witchcraft and UFOs. And you've been really clear in the Bible that those aren't things that are of you. But we do know there's things in this world that are things that we don't understand. Um, they're either from you or they're from not from you. It's kind of as easy as that. And those are things that we don't need to know, but we do need to know your word. And your word is really clear. There are things you can't see, powers of evil going up against you constantly. And you have been warned to put on the armor that I have given you. So even though we, we think of this as a little bit out there in, in our common world, your word is true. And you have said these things are happening all around you. I will give you my strength. I will give you my power. I will give you this armor. Be in the spirit, praying constantly. Be in my word. Have conversations with me. Put on my strength. But do it at all times, not just when it gets down to the end result of all these struggles against flesh and blood. When you're having problems with relationships or entitlement or situations at work or jealousy in your marriage, whatever those situations are, they're the end result of us not putting on our armor, of not doing exactly what you told us to do so that you could help protect us. God, I just pray today that that we are just constantly in a conversation with you. That we are reading your word, we are listening to it, we are putting it in play into our lives. 
and, and I'm completely guilty. There's so many times when things seem to be going okay. And I fall away from this. I fall away from putting on that armor every single day. I, I take full responsibility, but part of it too is the fact that I live here in the United States. That concept of constantly being at war is, is not really factual to us. War to us is something that we see through computerized images on the five o'clock news. It's not ha happening right in front of us. So in war-torn countries, they are constantly prepared. They are constantly ready to fight, battle, uh, go against the enemy. And God, we aren't. We are so comfortable. Our idols are idols of comfort. Wealth. Even though we might struggle with money, we have more money than most of the people in the rest of the world. We're soft, God. We're not ready to do battle. We're not ready to do battle with the spiritual forces of evil that are all around us. And if we're not ready to go to battle in those situations, God, I don't know how effectual we are for you. I don't know how in the world we reflect your glory if we honestly think that we can go day in and day out on our own and take care of things on our own. We need you more than we will ever realize, God. And you plead with us in the Bible. I'm giving you these things. You have to put them on. I need to protect you. I don't think you understand this war that is constantly raging all around you. And once in a while, you might see bits and pieces of it come out in the flesh and the blood. But you honestly have no idea this huge battle that's being waged all around you. For your time, for your attention, for your affections, for your actions, for your thoughts, for your words, for your deeds, and for some of you, your souls. Thank you, God, for loving us so much that you want to protect us at all times. Thank you for giving us opportunities to do so. Thank you for giving us pieces of you as armor to put on us, to protect us. Thank you for communicating with us through prayer. And thank you for your word that helps guide our every single step in this world. We will never know, at least in this lifetime, how precarious our steps truly are and what is happening all around us. But we do know that your word is true. And if you're asking us to put on your armor, God, it is for the best because you always want what is the best for us. Always. Thank you for loving us this much, God. In your son's name, I pray. Amen. <laughs>